Okay, from this this Keeley 30 millisecond double tracker, it splits into stereo. And right now I'm just using I just use loopers at home for practice, so I typically don't use them live. I've got it split into stereo, into this stereo in, stereo out. One side is going out to this 1959 Fender Tremolux. I see. You probably want it that's in the way, so we probably want it. Get closer here. Okay, so it splits in stereo. One side is going into this 1959 Fender Tremolux amp, which is an amazing, beautiful amplifier. And the other side, so this side would be dry with no Keeley. It would have these effects, and then this this double tracker, the affected side would go to this Buddha dual, dual stage 30 amplifier. Uh, it makes for a really nice wide stereo image and this this Buddha amp is incredible. It's one of the you know uh, the, the amps that I have I, I love. Uh, they made about 50 of these and neither one of these amps are are really master volume amps uh, even though one side does on this. Uh, they're made to to crank up, but as I, as I mentioned earlier, that it's really difficult in realistic playing situations to be able to crank up your amplifiers to get that sound. That's why you're using overdrive pedals. Uh, for recording, I can, but this amp has two power sections and one preamp section, and it switches between power sections. So one side is 6L6, kind of like an old Fender, and the other side is four EL84s, which is more of a British sound. So it's basically a uh, a Vox AC30 power section. Uh, the, the tone is very similar to a, a cranked up old Vox, kind of in between that and a, and a Marshall of that era, era uh, mid to late 60s. Incredible sounding amplifiers. Um, and I'm pretty happy with the setup. Uh, there's an amazing amount of builders these days making great pedals and uh, great amplifiers um, there's always something new to look at you know but I'm, I'm pretty happy with this setup